Let's get to a conversation now, of course, with Holly Hughes, who is the uh, Senator from uh, New South Wales and none other than the wonderful Joe Hildebrand, who I'm sure agrees with everything I just said. Now, um, Holly, here's my issue. Again, there is no scandal here that there is a plan for a treaty. We know that that is the, the hope of the Uluru Statement from the heart. But hmm. they don't want to deal with the politics of treaty because they haven't got anywhere near the details of what would be negotiated. And amazingly today, you saw the reality of Albo's position here, which is the wedge that he finds himself in. The proposals that he has are not going to be the dream solutions that he has offered to the left that gave him the cheers on the night that he became mm. elected. And conversely, to those that aren't of his fellow kinship on the left, they can see the problems that are starting to appear and the dodginess in and around this. So put simply, again, if their belief is that the national policy platform of the Labor Party, which they'll settle on in the next couple of weeks, that is binding, says you've got to do all three and do it all three in the first term. And then he goes on radio today and despite the fact that he said, I agree and I'll support it all in full, oh, we don't really do the treaties, that's the states, which means he's been bullshitting to a lot of different people. Mm. And eventually people are going to notice, and I think they are, Holly. Well, and, and this is the problem he's got, is that he's promised one group of people that he's going to enact this entire Uluru Statement of the Heart, which we know does include treaty and truth-telling. And i got to tell you, I'm still a little confused about what truth-telling actually involves because we're not hearing a lot of truth-telling at the moment. Uh, but you've got on one side, this is what they're saying, is wearing a T-shirt. We've got all the Labor ministers are putting tweets out with the hashtag voice treaty truth you know it's all very much part of the labor party's uh message that they're sending out there and then he went on ben fordham and realized that perhaps that audience wasn't going to be a big fan of the treaty and he walked away from it and i mean linda burney i mean bring on the debate with jacinta price that cannot happen soon enough politics in this country is run through the old westminster system of debate We've got Linda Burney as the Minister for Indigenous Affairs or Indigenous Australians. We've got Cinna Price as the opposition. In any other situation, if this was a general election, you would have two ministers, you know, Shadow and an actual minister, uh, debate against each other, probably held by the National Press Club. So where is their invitation to Linda Burney and Jacinta Price well. to, nego to debate this issue? Because... The dishonesty, and I look, I cannot remember the exact quote, but I know there was one earlier this week that Linda Burney came out and said, referred to something that was going on as in code, that it was being said in code. And too often, even today in the Senate in question time, it felt like everything that was being said by this government is in code. They say one thing, they mean another, and Australians, thankfully, are starting to see through the trickiness of this campaign.